Hello, my dear students. Our lesson today is 3A. What's wrong? Page 34. What's wrong? Number one, vocabulary, match the lesson and the check. First, we will match the pictures with the sentences. Then we will listen and check our answers. Now listen. Module 3. Teen Life. 3A. What's wrong? 1. Vocabulary. Match. Then listen and check. 1. I've got toothache. Yes. 2. I've got a sore throat. Sore throat. 3. I've got earache. Earache. 4. I've got a cough. Cough. Five. I've got a headache. Headache. Six. I've got a fever. Fever. Seven. I've got stomachache. Stomachache. Okay, number one. Here, when I have a, a tooth hurts, or when my tooth hurts, so I have got toothic. I have got toothic. Number two. I have got sore throat. When my uh, throat hurts, when I have a sore in my throat, so I have got sore throat. Three. Here, when my ear hurts me, so I have got Eric. I have got Eric. Number four. Uh, when I cough or uh, when someone coughs, so I have got a cough. What well, I have got. <coughs> a cough. Number five. When my head hurts, when my head hurts, so I have got a headache. I have got a headache. Number six. I have got a fever, so I have high temperature. When I have high temperature, so I have got a fever. Number seven. I have got stomach ache. I have got stomach ache. When my stomach hurts me, so I have got a stomach ache. My dear student, try uh, repeating them, keep repeating them to memorize them. Next, number two, listen to the dialogue, then read it out in groups. Why didn't Bill go to the skate park? First we will listen, then we will answer the questions. Then read it out in groups. Why didn't Bill go to the skate park? Where's Bill? It's almost eight o'clock. The skate park closes in an hour. I think we should call him. You know Bill, he's never on time. He's not answering his mobile. Maybe he's still at home. Try him there. Hello? Bill, what are you doing at home? Have you forgotten about the skate park again? Sorry, Ali, but I'm ill. I've got the flu. I've got a fever and a headache. I've got a bad cough too. That's okay, mate. You should take a painkiller and stay in bed then. What's wrong with him, Ali? Bill's got the flu. Complete. Oh dear, he shouldn't go out. And you should drink some warm tea with honey and lemon. Okay, okay, I will. I have to hang up, Ali. Maybe we should cancel the skate park and come and see you. No, it's okay. Don't worry about me. Tom is looking after me. He's the best friend a person can have. Hey, what about us? You are too. Okay, my dear students, now, why didn't Bill go to the skate park? Hmm, yes? 
Why didn't Bill go to the skate park? Yes, thank you. Because he's ill. He's got the flu. He's got a fever and a headache. He, he's also got a bad cough. Thank you so much. Because he's ill. He's ill. Next. Read. Read again and find sentences in the dialogue to prove the following. We will find sentences to prove this information. Number one. The skate park closes at 9 o'clock. Hmm. The skate, the skate park closes at 9 o'clock. Yes. It's 8 o'clock and the skate park closes in an hour. Very good. It's almost 8 o'clock now and the skate park closes in an hour. Number two. Bill is usually late. Bill is usually late. Okay, very good. He is never on time. Look here. You know Bill. He is never on time. Thank you so much. So, he is never on time. Three. Ali and Lee think Bill should stay at home. Okay, very good. Here, look. You should take a painkiller and stay in bed then. And Lee said, he shouldn't go out. Very good. So you should take a painkiller and stay in bed. Next, he should he shouldn't go out. He shouldn't go out. Number four, Ali thinks that he and Lee should visit Bill. Yeah, maybe we uh, should cancel. Maybe we should cancel the skid park and come and see you. Very good. Thank you. Number five, Bill is not at home alone. Bill isn't at home alone ah, because Tom is with him. Yes, Tom is looking after him. Very good. Tom is looking after him. Take care of him. Okay. Next, our grammar part today is very easy. The verb should. We use the verb should to give an advice to express opinion like here. To give an advice, to uh, express an opinion, and to make a suggestion. How can I form the verb uh, should? First, in the affirmative, I use should plus the infinitive. Should plus the base form of the verb. Like should eat. Should eat. I use all subjects with should. I can use I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they. All plural and uh, singular nouns can uh, go with should. So, I should, you should, she should, he should, we should. All of them, I can use them before should. So, I should eat, you should eat, she should eat, and so on. What about negative? Uh, when I want to make it negative, I add not to should, so should not, should not, or shouldn't, I can short it in shouldn't, also shouldn't plus bees form, shouldn't plus bees form, shouldn't eat, shouldn't go, shouldn't waste my time, and so on. Also I can use I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they, all, all singular and plural Forms can go with shouldn't in the negative, should in the affirmative. What about questions? I use should before the subject. Should I? Should you? Should he? Should she? Or I can should Ali? Should Mona? And so on. And after the subject, I I uh, I come with the base form like eat, go, uh, sleep, and sh and so on. So should I eat? Should you eat? Should she go? Should we uh, play or stay? Should we stay at home? Yes, we should. Like here, you should stay in bed today. You should stay in bed. You shouldn't go out. You shouldn't go to school. Thank you so much. Now, look at the prompts and write sentences. Use should or shouldn't. Here, 
I read the sentence, then I make a, 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 or give an advice using should or shouldn't. Number one, Jolly has got a headache. Jolly has got a headache. She has got a headache. What should she do? Take painkiller. I use should or shouldn't. Yes, very good. I use should. She should take a painkiller. Jolly should take a painkiller. Yeah, she should take a painkiller. Very good, thank you. Number two, I've got stomach ache. I've got stomach ache. My stomach hurts. So, eat any more sweets. I eat any more sweets. Should or shouldn't? Okay, very good. Shouldn't. If I eat any more sweets, I have I I'll have more uh, stomach ache. So, I shouldn't. Yes. I shouldn't eat any more sweets. Also, any comes in the negative. You shouldn't or I shouldn't eat any more sweets. Very good. Number three, it's really hot in my in my bedroom. My bedroom is hot. What should I do? Open the window. Yes, I should open the window. Very good. Or you should open the window. You should open the window. Number four, I don't understand this exercise. I don't get, I don't understand this exercise. Ask the teacher, yeah, should or shouldn't? Yeah, should, very good. You should ask your teacher. You should ask the teacher. You should ask the teacher. Number five, Saud has got a sore throat. Saud has got a sore throat. Saud has got a sore throat. His uh, uh, throat hurts. So, drink cold water. Should or shouldn't? Yeah, shouldn't. He shouldn't drink cold water. If he drinks, if he drinks cold water, his uh, throat still hurts. So, he shouldn't drink cold water. Very good, thank you. Next, with our uh, listening part, Listen to Laura talking to her brother. What's wrong with her? Tick through the correct answers. We will listen and tick through uh, these appendices. Four. Listen. Listen to Laura talking to her brother. What's wrong with her? Tick. Hello. I'm home. Is anybody here? I'm in the living room. Hi. Oh dear. You look awful. What's wrong? <coughs> you should have a hot drink for that cough. I've just had a cup of tea. It helped my throat quite a bit. Is it sore? Yes, very. It hurts when I talk. Do you want something to eat? No, thanks. Why? Have you got stomach ache too? No, my stomach's fine. I'm just not hungry. Try to eat lots of fruit. You're right. I should eat more, actually. You've probably just got the flu. Lots of people at school have got it. Yeah. Mum was here a while ago. She rang up the doctor and she said it was the flu. My friend Lee had the same thing last week. He had a terrible headache too. Well, my head feels fine. I think I've got a fever, though. Really? Let me feel your head. Yes, you're quite hot. You should really get to bed. No, I'm fine here. At least I can watch some TV. Would you like a glass of orange juice? Oh, yes, please. Thanks. Okay, number one. Has she got fever? Yeah, very good. She has got fever. Number two, has she got stomach ache? Mmm, good. No, she hasn't got stomach ache. Has she got the flu? Yes, she has got the flu. Has she got sore throat? Okay, again, yes. Has she got cough? Oh, really? 
Yes. And has she got headache? Has she got a headache? No, she hasn't got the headache. Thank you so much, my dear students. See you next lesson. Goodbye and stay safe.